Hello friends, Anastasia Louise here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some awesome things that I got for Christmas. Christmas has honestly been a more so family oriented holiday in my personal life growing up. So being away from my family for the first time was really, really odd and it was sad. But the holiday itself was a pretty decent day. I got to spend it with my boyfriend and I got to Skype with my family a majority of the day. So that was good and I got some really neat vintage stuff for Christmas. One of the first gifts that I received this year is this throat chakra roll-on aromatherapy essential oil. I definitely have a lot of throat chakra blockage. A lot of people who have their throat chakras blocked have a really hard time feeling like what they say is worthy and what they say is going to be heard. Um, and it's all about self-worth, self-expression and that's Definitely one I want to work on for the new year, so very, very special gift and very sweet. I was so excited. The next gift that I got is this palmistry hand, and I've been very, very into palmistry, astrology, and just reading deeper into myself and into other people. So this will definitely be fun to have around and just reference back to whenever I need it. And it's also nice to have around for inspiration and motivation to keep learning and growing and getting to know myself. The next thing that I got for Christmas are these adorable socks. They are polka dotted, sheer, and have a cute little bow at the top. Obviously I cannot wear these until the weather warms up because my toes will literally freeze and fall off and I don't want to go searching for them. So I'm gonna have to wait. And you know how hard that's gonna be? Really hard, but I am strong and independent and worthy. You're worthy of your toes. The next two things that I got are these necklaces without chains. Um, the first one is this moon pendant and you can put essential oils, dried flowers, basically anything you want inside of it. And I am super, super stoked to fill this bad boy with whatever I please. Although I cannot think of anything right this second. My old one that I had had Moldavite oil in it. Um, I still have Moldavite oil, but I don't know if I want to go down that road again. To be honest with you, the first time I put Moldavite oil in that necklace that broke when my sister was here, in the middle of the night, one of my, actually, this one, where are you? Oh, one second. This guy started playing in the middle of the night. Um... Okay, can you stop now? Please stop. The next gift I received is from my hometown bestie and she made me some raw, vegan, delicious brownies. She also sent me some sage and some incense, which is really nice. The first book that I got is this Pacific Northwest guidebook and this is basically my exploring book. I have to take this baby everywhere on every adventure that I partaken. This has tons of info about the wildlife and nature in Oregon and I'm super excited to carry this around with me and get to know Mother Earth and where I'm living, finally. The next book that I got is called Thinking and Destiny and although I just started reading this book, it is so informative. I absolutely love it. It's all about the universe and how the universe works. It's basically about life and living and it's just super, super informative and has quenched my thirst of knowledge just for a while. The next gift that I got for Christmas are bowls. Yes, bowls. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what they're technically called, but they are for like stress relief. Basically, there are magnetic balls that you can shift around and play with in your hands <laughs> um, when you're nervous or anxious. Are these not the most adorable vintage finds ever? These brass candle holders and this brass apple bell. This apple bell was seriously the most random quirky gift I have ever received and it was great. Um, I feel like a teacher and I feel in charge and powerful. <laughs> the next thing I got for Christmas are these crystals. One is red jasper and the other is tiger's eye. Um, these are both really, really good for self-confidence and self-expression. I also got these really, really sick pins for Christmas. One is the moon, one is Beethoven, and one is the Smiths. Basically, my favorites of all time. <laughs> um, yes, I can't wait to put these babies on basically everything. I plan to take them off and put them on and take them off and put them on and take the next gift I received is definitely the most magical of all of my Christmas gifts this year and it is this awesome vintage moon shelf. Yes, it is basically magic. I am in love with it. I'm going to be redecorating my whole wall just to put this baby up here. Honestly, I've been eyeballing these on Etsy, at vintage shops for a really long time, like over a year and they're just so overpriced and to know that 
who gifted this to me, found this at a thrift store and was like on the hunt for something for me when finding it. Just ugh, magic, magic, greatness. The next and last items I received were from my mother and she basically sent a box full of comfort. She sent me a stocking that I'm used to opening up every Christmas morning with my family, but we opened it via Skype, which was nice. Um, she also sent me a big comfy blanket and a crock pot. So I basically got comfort for Christmas and it was great. <laughs> this appears to be the end of my Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season, whatever you celebrate or whatever you ended up doing for the holidays. I hope they were magical. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, please leave them down below. I hope you guys have a magical day and until next time, I love you. Bye.